Hello, welcome to QBasic Tutorials. In this video tutorial lesson, we will be learning how to use QBasic. And first of all, in this present video, we will be having an overall introduction about QBasic. What is QBasic? How to install it? How to start working on QBasic? You may have some questions if you are new to the programming and if you have been heard the term QBasic before. So I don't wonder if you have these questions. What is QBasic? What is basic? What is a programming language? What is programming? Why do we we need programs. Who will do programs? Can I also do it? You will be able to answer these questions at the end of this video. I hope if you follow it carefully, sure, you will be able to do it. First of all, let us see what is QBase. QBase is a version of BASIC. What do you mean by version? You have seen different versions of Windows, Windows XP, Windows 98, 95, Windows 7, Windows 8 and now Windows 10. Similarly, there are different versions for BASIC. One such version is QBASIC and you have other versions like BASIC R and GW BASIC and lot more. QBASIC is just a version of BASIC. What is BASIC? It's a programming language. BASIC, the full form of BASIC is Beginner's All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. It means the name itself says what is the speciality of this language. This basic language can be used even by a beginner. If you are not an experienced one with computer programming, then also you will be able to use basic. Anyone can use it. Basic can be used for any purpose. Purposes such as educational purpose, scientific, engineering, business and any purpose. And in basic language, we use instructions in the form of code. Codes are some kind of code words. You must have heard the code word open CC, close CC and all in some magical stories. Like here we have some code words let, rem, print etc. And these code words or the codes are the symbols used in these instructions. Instructions are given to the computers to perform some task. What is a programming language? For developing programs, we need special languages. We can understand and use our natural languages. English or any language which we are using. Similarly, computers also, there are languages. We should know this language, then only we will be able to communicate with computers. What is program? Giving instruction to computer in a step-by-step -step manner to perform some work. We will be having a sequence of steps to perform one task. How to keep an elephant in a fridge? Step 1. Open the fridge. Step 2. Keep the elephant inside. Step 3. Close the door. Similarly, we can break our work into steps and we can perform. This is what is programming. Why do we need programs? We need programs to solve some problem or we can make computer to do some work to solve our problems. And if you are looking for some examples, if you use a program for playing video, the program which you are using is a Windows Media Player or some other media player. It's a program. It's doing a work. It is doing a work of showing a movie on your computer screen. Who will develop programs? Programmers will do. After completing this complete basic tutorial course, you also will be able to develop programs. Yes. You can do. You can also do it. For doing it, you have to follow the steps. You have to follow the lesson repeatedly to make it thorough and do the works assigned. Now, you have to install QBasic into your system. If you are using Windows operating system, which is higher than Windows XP versions, most probably it will be higher. If you are using Windows 8, 7, Vista or Windows 10, you may have to use DOSBox. In that case, download DOSBox and install it. Now you may be wondering where from I will download it. Don't worry, I will give the details in the next slide or in the next lesson. Now what you have to do is take notes from this lesson and prepare a concept chart to make this concept clear in your mind. And for downloading it, you can follow this link. This is a YouTube video link. This I have already uploaded in the YouTube. You can watch this video. It is giving all the details where from to download, how to download, after downloading, how to install. You can 
copy and paste or simply click on the link which I have given on the YouTube video. Above the YouTube video, you will be able to go to the video, follow the instruction, then you can download and install QBasic as well as DOSBox. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you, you understood the concept of QBasic and the programming with QBasic.